Continuing on here with our CBS TV lineup, we've got a lot more in my perspective at the very least that I'm interested in. Um, so let's just go show by show, whatever, whatever, and uh, let's talk about the new shows that are coming out here. We mentioned this in part one. Supergirl. Hmm. So if you were somebody like myself that got a chance to check out the leaked pilot, let's say this. Um, I check out every superhero show and every superhero movie that I can. I may not like uh, all of them. And, you know, something like Constantine, I watched the first episode and I was just like, I know I'm not going to like this, so I just didn't bother. And it got canceled, so I was just like, all right, well, I'm justified in that. That was a great show. Boo. No. I couldn't say that. Supergirl is a show that rubbed me the wrong way so much. And uh, I mentioned this when I, I was talking about Agent Carter, that being a guy, I do, don't get that connection when it comes to, like, the whole the girl power kind of thing. I appreciate the fact that they are doing these kind of shows where, like we had said before, that it's not just, like, every woman on TV is a damsel in distress or something like that. Because it's like, right. you know, you should have, you know, mm. switching things up and there's no reason not to have a female lead and stuff like that. But Supergirl is, like, the epitome of... All right, you're doing it for that reason, and it drives me crazy. During this pilot episode, had about seven references to the fact that it's Supergirl, and that like that I should feel guilty about something. <laughs> like, <laughs> it it literally there's lines in this where they have a whole argument of Supergirl. Why are we calling her Supergirl? Well, what's wrong with girl? Huh? What, what are you like a fucking bigot? Kind of <laughs> like, right. Whoa. But then, but then they take the. I, I watched it as well. But then they they take the uh, like. Oh, it's it's hard to save people and keep my shoes clean. I'm like, really? Right? Why can't she just oh, be yeah. a fucking oh strong God. superhero? That drove me like, so nuts. Because it's like you're just flying in the face of everything that you're talking about right now. You shouldn't have a show where you literally argue at the preview. It's not a bird. It's not a plane. It's not a man. It's Supergirl. Ooh, like, and then it's uh, like, okay, so it's Supergirl. Well, and then there's this whole, like, this whole thing uh, uh, with her outfit and, like, she should wear a dress and, like... Oh, looks, I'm not going to wear this skirt. It looks... doesn't match that. And, and it's yeah. Just, like, really? And it's just, like, really? Like, why can't she be just a fucking ass kicker? Like, evidently Scandal... Uh, I know we're not talking about ABC anymore, but Scandal, that girl's, like, an ass kicker. Like, why not? She... You know what I mean? Let her be Mariska Hargitay in a fucking Supergirl outfit. That would be right, awesome. Right, exactly. That's yeah. perfect. Because, like, she's on Law & Order and not once... I mean, I don't watch the show, like, you know, I, I've had it on the back and stuff like that but i've never overheard them be like i took down this perp and i'm a girl and it's like oh no yeah. never. and they, they've done that in supergirl there's a part in it where uh now supergirl has not been fighting people she hasn't used her powers in years and she's fighting a like one of the worst criminals who is three times her size and has a weapon and somebody goes i don't think that she can beat him and somebody else goes, why? Because she's a girl? And you're like, oh, fuck you uh, at this point. You're like, no, no that's, because that's she much. is half his age, half his size, and he's got a goddamn axe. That's why. Right, right. So I'm going to be checking it out, hoping that maybe they just hit it too hard on this first episode. And they'll kind of like fix that and stuff, because... Flash is great, Arrow is great, and they've done a lot of good things in a lot of other shows like this, so hopefully that's not the case, but if it's like that the entire way through, I don't think I'd be able to sit through it. Well, the next the next episode, the first thing that's going to happen is be like, I don't know she's going to be able to take her, man. She got a vagina. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, the, like we, we get it. And I mean, the funny thing is, like, Superman, Superwoman, they don't have to be, like, bodybuilders. Like, they get all their power from the sun. That's what makes them super strong. They don't have to be just, like, exactly. ripped, like, say, Batman. Like, literally, it doesn't matter that she's, like, half a guy's size. She can literally just, like, punch him for five miles because she's got sun powers, right. basically. I love your, uh, punch him for five miles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, punch him for distance. I don't know. I speak in shorthand sometimes, so. I was looking forward to Supergirl, but Tony, you kind of just talked me out of it. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> give it a shot just to see what yeah, your opinion yeah. is. You know, I, I'll never tell somebody that they. Well, never mind. I, I will. 
for certain things. Like, do not go see Fantastic Four. Oh, oh, don't. Me, me and uh, short short story, real quick. Me and Will watched it. A uh, yeah. ripped copy uh, at the theater the other Good, day. You didn't spend any money. Oh, it was so funny. Go out and see it if you can. Spend money. <laughs> just read my review, which took me longer to write than it did to watch the movie. <laughs> that just shows you how bad it is. Glasses. And it's Spoiler just a list alert. of things I hated about the movie. That's it. There's no other like. There's nothing good about it. But um, Life in Pieces is a new show that CBS is having. I don't know what that's about. Does that strike anybody as interesting? It looks like it's about old people. Oh wait! Oh, that's what it is. That's the show where they keep advertising that the guy's got a funeral or something like that, and I keep changing the channel because I don't like the commercial. A smart, relatable, and laugh-out-loud comedy about one family, uniquely told through four separate stories each week. This char warm and lovable clan, spanning three generations, finds humor in life's everyday absurdities. Okay, so it's like Modern Family. Sounds like it. I never watched that show. My first thought is just like, it was called The Rooms or The Doors or something like that, about just like this one room that like four different generations of people lived in or something like that it was a movie that came out like a while back that's just kind of what i think of whenever i hear this preview but maybe i'm just misreading it well as soon as something advertises itself as laugh out loud funny yeah uh, yeah that's kind of like that's when you flag. hear a movie and it's like it's, it's fun flag. for the whole family which means if you're somebody who gets offended you won't <laughs> hate it <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know like, Angel like, from Hell. I know what that is. I'm not. I know I'm not watching that. That sounds amazing. Yeah. What is this? What is that? That's the woman that was on Glee, and yeah, um, like it. Uh, I think she was in Two and a Half Men as like Charlie's psychiatrist or something like that. She's an angel, but she's like a bitch. Oh. So eh. it's like her just kind yes. of being like, "I'm a bitch. You, know, you gotta oh, hang so around with me for a while." <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. So, uh, remember that movie where Scarlett Johansson got injected with that drug and it made her access one hundred percent of her brain? Mm -hmm. Scarlett Johansson. Well, looks like there's a show coming out called Limitless, yep. inspired by the movie, which we will not name. Limitless <laughs> is a visually creative action thriller about a man who discovers a mysterious drug that allows him to access 100% of his brain and ends up using his new abilities for the greater good. That's about a Isn't guy there a movie called Limitless? The yeah, the one with oh, Bradley right. Cooper. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe I'm thinking about? of but... What's good about this show is they're actually keeping the continuity for it, and Bradley Cooper is showing up on it. No oh. way. Yeah, the, I've seen a uh, commercial for it just recently and he's actually in the commercial talking to the guy going like, hey, you can take this pill and do what I did. So it's like a oh. spin-off of it instead of a reboot. Oh, which, okay. That well, I'm actually really like, good. I'll okay. check it out because the movie wasn't too bad and that's the first of many smart guy helps out girl in some kind of cop capacity things that I'm going to be talking yeah, about. It's like the uh, lady detective from Dexter's in this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um... Wait, no, 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 the sister? Dexter's sister. Yeah. Oh. Carpenter, I think her name is. His, his ex-wife? His ex yeah. Mm. That's, uh, that's where y'all know they were married? Yeah. And then he got brain cancer and she divorced him? Yeah. Yeah, what a bitch. Yeah. So then what did they do? The writers are like, fuck her. You know what? We're going to make her fuck her Kill brother her. on the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that turned into a train wreck. <laughs> that was... And... The only other new show that I'm looking at right now that they've announced the time slot for, because they didn't for another one. We'll get to that in a second. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We'll just talk about that now. Uh, Limitless is not the only show that's based off a movie that they're going to be doing. They're going to be doing a Rush Hour show. Interesting. And they haven't figured out what time yet. <laughs> is it going to be... Is it going to be like an Asian and a black guy, or just like a mixed match of different ethnicities? No, uh, it's, it's a reboot that doesn't have... Either of you know Jackie Chan or um, Chris Tucker, but it is a black guy and an Asian guy. So they basically recast and were like, "That worked a couple years ago. Let's do this again." And I like Rush Hour One and Rush Hour Two. Yeah, uh, yeah. Rush Hour Three was garbage. I never saw that. Don't or did I? I can't remember. They go to Europe. And it's it's kind of rough. <laughs> uh, I, what is this Crime Time Saturday? Is this like the NBA playoffs? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> No, the WWE guys, Crime Time, they're just coming back. Oh, that's exactly what I thought when I saw it the first time. I just wanted to be like, oh, never mind, this is Fanboys Nominous. I can be as big a dork as I fucking want. <laughs> uh, 
I think it's something like 2020 because it's 48 hours is right after that. Yeah, th- those are probably the only shows that I'm gonna watch. With. <laughs> exactly right. You mean you're not checking out uh, the Big Bang Theory? <laughs> oh gosh. One of the only people that still watches that show, even though I, I fully admit it. that it sucks. Oh, it's so bad. Hey, so what's the deal with the NCIS CS, or NCIS New Orleans? Has anybody seen that show? Does every fucking crime scene have vomit and some like crap boy <laughs> semen on something? Uh, I have no idea. I think you're thinking of CSI. No, it's NCIS New Orleans. No, I mean about semen on everything. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, either way, the joke still fucking works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure NCIS New Orleans is just like Papa Shango and Baron Samurai. It's fucking so good. <laughs> and the guy off of goddamn uh, 007. <laughs> Baron Samurai. Oh, is that? Okay, my yeah. bad, my bad. Yeah, at the end of every episode, it just turns out that he's still alive and is just laughing at the yeah. back of a Yeah, and he's train. just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Jeffrey Holder. Every, every scene they go to, he's like, he's been choked to death with these mighty god beads. <laughs> Why doesn't she have a shirt on? How does Jane Seymour still look as good, if not better, than what she did in that movie? Side note. Botox? She's like 70 years old and still would. Um, <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite shows is going to be returning, but they haven't given a time slot to that either, and that's Person of Interest. And if oh. you guys have not watched that show, you need to go back and rewatch everything from that, because that show is amazing. That's the one uh, uh, that Christopher Nolan uh, did, right? About the computer that can like find anybody? Yeah, uh, Jonathan Nolan is Jonathan like the Nolan. spearheader of the whole thing, yeah. and it's it's so Batman. Like, yeah, it's if you boil Batman down and didn't give him a cape, they do the exact same kind of shit. It's so mm. great. So I don't know what's happening with that. They haven't given it a time slot, and they might be cutting down from twenty something episodes to thirteen. So maybe they're kind of going, well, this is outlived its usefulness or something. But they're really hitting hard with the Scorpion thing. And oh, jeez, kind of its replacement. I watched one episode of Scorpion, and I wasn't sure if I was watching a comedy or not. <laughs> like it was like, is this? Is this? Are you just like it? Just it seemed like a comedy, but then it wasn't. But then I realized, oh wait, there. This is this is serious. You know, it's kind of a dramedy, and it's one yeah. of those shows that I watch it, but it's like uh, I'll fully disclose here. I don't watch almost any shows live. I download them all. Yep, and. That's the type of show where I'll I'll download that and I'll be like, all right, well I'll watch everything else and then I'll watch Scorpion, you know. And if I'm too tired, I'll watch it tomorrow. That kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, there's there's two things on here. Uh, for one, uh, they have they're gonna have Thursday Night Football, which is fucking great. That's awesome, right? Awesome. Um, and another thing is, what the fuck is Survivor Cambodia? Like oh, are they Jesus. like so they're gonna send a bunch of fucking people to Cambodia where people are really starving and really living yeah. like shit. Uh. And they're going to be like, hey, guys, you're going to have to live here for three months while the rest of us live here for the rest of our life. Like, how horrible is that? <laughs> yeah, and at the end of a month or so, then you're going to get all this money. <laughs> it's like... Oh, my God. After <laughs> living this way for three days, I understand the suffering of these people. <laughs> I hope I don't get eliminated and have to go back to my fucking house with air, <laughs> condition- with air conditioning and oh, a local H E V. I still say they need to do Survivor Camden. What the fuck is that? What's Camden? Camden, New Jersey is like up there with Detroit and, uh, <laughs> you know, Gary, Indiana and that kind of stuff where it's just like you turn down the wrong street and you're just kind of like, all right, well, if I don't turn around now, I'm pretty sure somebody's going to shoot me just for being here. Or if I keep going forward, I can score some really good weed. <laughs> <laughs> We're like okay. Survivor Philly. I'm true for that. What's that? the wrong side of the country for that <laughs> oh what do they do well meth i'm sorry <laughs> or no meth's the south what do you guys yeah, do meth. up in uh new york um everything probably. yeah <laughs> it depends on what borough you're in i guess that's true <laughs> um hang on let me count my teeth um uh, it feels like meth but it tastes like coke we got moonshine down the south yes um, i've had it <laughs> the scariest <laughs> fucking legal. thing ever. It's legal. Legal yes. moonshine. It hurts. <laughs> Drinking it hurts. There's so, a big thing with CBS though when it comes to looking at their lineup. They're not really in the comedy game. No. I mean they've got Big Bang Theory, which most people think is not even funny. It's and all 
mom and life in pieces and that's it there's um stephen colbert is hosting um oh, the tonight show that's a pretty true. big one that's a pretty big net gain for them i'd say that would literally be the only reason I would ever watch CBS, probably other than football, was to see fucking Stephen Colbert kick ass. I think CBS is the one that's always had the reputation as being the old guy network. Right. Like right. it has for decades. Like, if you're watching CBS, you're probably 60. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's so bad is I have more shows fans. there than any other network except for Fox. <laughs> basically. Which Fox is basically the... Like, they we were just raunchy and shit. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, well, Fox was trying to distinguish itself from the other networks at the time. So in the early 90s, they're just like, let's get the edgiest programming we possibly can. And let's go to demographics that um, aren't being serviced. Like, they had, like, um, Martin on. They had Married with Children. They had The X-Files. And then as they started getting a lot of viewers, and this is what a lot of new networks do, they start out with like edgy, just kind of like crazy programming. But then as they get more and more mainstream, they start making their programming much more mainstream. Like the WB did the same thing. Yeah. with like, you know, like a bunch of sitcoms. But then when they started like getting a whole lot of viewers, they're like, okay, let's do do nothing but uh, Seventh Heaven and <laughs> oh, uh, Dawson's yeah. Creek. And like, uh, well, even watch the first WB episode. shows. It's the WB. <laughs> Sorry, so is there, I'll I'll anybody again. thinking that uh, Stephen hey, Colbert is going to be really great? <laughs> I still haven't. I, I don't know oh, if he's going to be too great or not. What is it? Stephen Colbert. I'm going to oh, have it's... to check it out to see, but I don't, I don't know if I... I'm not a big Letterman fan, so replacing him is like no big deal to me, but... Right, but I mean, I'm, I'm not a fucking Letterman fan at all, uh, yeah. but I would... I'm so fucking excited to see some new blood in there. You don't you don't watch the Colbert Report? No, I've never been the biggest fan. I mean, it's like I can appreciate it, but where do you get your so news from? <laughs> Facebook. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, that's a very reliable source. <laughs> <laughs> everything on the internet is commentary on everything. Let, let's clarify one thing. Usually, if there's a news story, I don't care about it anyway. <laughs> Oh, nice. So it doesn't Fair matter. Enough. It'll be like, oh, this woman denied people marriage things or something like that. And it'll be like, oh, she sounds like a bitch. All right, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair enough. Yeah. So apparently they're trying to get a new ER, though, with uh, Code Black. This intense medical drama is set in the busiest ER in the nation, where Code Black situations when there are more patients and personnel or resources to treat them all, occur in unimaginable 300 days a year. So it's basically uh, ER, but we don't have enough money to afford technology and basic medical supplies. <laughs> so, But they never tell ER. us where this is at. Where is Code Black? Where it's in Cambodia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the opposite oh, side of the tracks from Code White. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <That's so much. laughs> That sounds horrible. It was an obvious joke. I had to. I would have kicked myself if I didn't afterward. Hey, guys, I'm the new host. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, be thankful that I didn't make a dad joke instead of the TV show mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the bad what, wife. What's this mom show about? Some girl doing laundry and washes dishes? What the fuck? <laughs> Football's on, goddammit. We could keep going. I mean, there's the there little bang Robert? theory. What theory? The Little Bang Theory. Oh, yeah. Mr. Oh. Secretary, you know, whatever. Uh, elementary. Um, yeah, <laughs> middle school. <laughs> ele ele elementary followed by To Catch a Predator. Oh. <laughs> Wrong network, I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> Nothing else stands out to me. I'm curious about what they're going to do with Rush Hour and Person of Interest, and I'll check out that the first cool. episode of Rush Hour, but I'm sure that's going to be a stretch. Yeah. Brianna, Caroline, do you guys have anything that you're like looking forward to on this channel? Nope. Besides Prime Limitless. Saturday! 48! <laughs> <laughs> No, really. Like, I I barely ever watch. I don't even remember the last time I tuned in to CBS, to be honest. I really don't remember. I couldn't even tell you what channel it's CBS. So, no. Pass, 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 pass. I would think that you would like Criminal Minds. 
You know what? That's like the only show when my mom visits, that's the only show we can watch together because he has enough gore, gore for me. But it's not, it, it always ends on like, it normally ends on a nice note, so she's happy about that. But <laughs> I feel like I watched every single episode to date, so I'm just sick of it. You know, but I mean, and when What's I did watch, I only watched to see the sexy chocolate man in it, really, because he was really hot. Chocolate man? <laughs> yeah, girl. You mean Are you like thinking that, of Code Black? <laughs> that guy is chocolate, yeah. and he's like walking around town. I wish. No. <laughs> right, you guys are no. That's a fucking. Villain. You guys are talking about Idris Elba, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Shamar Moore, I think it's. Uh, yes, that's the name. I really shouldn't know his name, but I do. Uh, <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh. It's okay. Oh, put, put a little more enthusiasm in your O. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my. <laughs> so what's the deal with like like? Man, parents don't understand. Like, why do parents, like, at least this is not my mom and dad, like, they can sit and watch, like, 48 hours. If it's, like, a true, like, someone died, and then we're not going to tell you what really happened till the end. Like, they that's, always watch that shit. That's, like, depressing TV. Who wants to watch I love that. that? <laughs> parents. You know, I don't know what's going on with that, but my grandma is somebody who is, like, she watches the news constantly and always is like, oh, you know, life is terrible because everybody gets killed and stuff. And I'm like, right. well, you keep watching the news. Like, they scare you. And my my mom, she is somebody who wants to watch Animal Planet all the time because she's just Aww. like, I don't I don't like, mm -hmm. you know, she wants horror to watch and stuff like it. that. But she'll watch a show of, like, she'll turn on something on Animal Planet. It'll be like, you know, the, the story of when this uh, animal got beat with a lead pipe or something and I'm like what the fuck are you watching this for then like it's a hurt against animals yeah but they turn out okay in the end sometimes and I'm like <laughs> oh god I can't Shit. stop so, that's horrible though is that one of those shows where an animal suffers a horrible inter injury and then they slowly nurse it back to health and uh, rescue it or something like that yeah like she'll watch that stuff but then when I will have one like I don't know something like if I would have had like on Pulp Fiction she would have been like oh that's that's really bad and I'm like yeah but that's fake <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. I'd much rather watch Reservoir Dogs and know that it's squibs and stuff than to yeah. watch like actual surgery uh, footage or like stories about people that actually got murdered or well, you know, turn on the news and it's like, well, there was a fire and somebody got shot in the fire and then swallowed some Drano that'll kill you and stuff like. Well, and who says that you know dying puppies or like you know animals getting beaten you know is not going to make money because evidently it does because people are watching it. Yeah. Oh, and if it was going to be on any of network, it'd probably be CBS. So we do. <laughs> I really don't want to keep talking about puppies being beaten. Yeah. <laughs> well, move on. Let's uh, go back to dead humans and stuff like that. Let's move okay. on. <laughs> what do we got? Turns out Miss Piggy killed, <laughs> killed Kurt. Uh, <laughs> she better kill that bitch. Like, that bitch has it coming. Well, if, Mu if the Muppet starts off with Kermit killing Miss Piggy and moving on to... What's her name? Denise? Denise! And it's like a big murder mystery, then maybe I'll watch the Muppets. Right? <laughs> you know what? Kill the she animal. Die. She's awesome. Capable of killing. Other than the man is. <laughs> he's sitting there just eating bacon one day. They're like, what happened <laughs> to Miss Piggy? And he's just like, I don't know. Aww. He's like, he's like, uh, he's... he's um up in uh what's that beeper's face and he's like where were you sunday night <laughs> <He's Batman. laughs> yeah it's kermit's batman's voice hey where, where were you uh sunday night i'm not wearing hockey pads <laughs> <laughs> I think it's about time for us to move on from CBS. Yes. <laughs> well, I just want to see Steve. I have a feeling Stephen Colbert has do, been doing the Colbert Report for 10 years. I have a feeling he's going to be doing something new for Tonight Show, and I want to see what he's going to do. So uh, that's me. I'll and definitely be checking out at least his first couple episodes to see Absolutely. what he's doing. Now we got a uh, CW is next on our lineup. So if you are just listening to this one, then we'll see you. But if you want to watch the other ones, then click on them or stay tuned. And we'll be right back with part three CW.